All right, we're going to go ahead and do a uh, side tie or a spool tie. The tie I'm going to teach you here is the same one we'd use on the side tie on, a, on the pin tie insulator as well. All right, so beginning with this one, we're going to come in underneath from the back side, come up over the top, we'll make two loops. Make two loops. Going to come under the neck of the insulator. Again, the one that's rubbed up against the uh, back tie wire I'm going to do first. So the center one, just like I did on the top, we'll do the center one. Two loops. Bring this one up underneath. <coughs> Two loops. Now, from here, some companies would do the fan out that we talked about. What I want you to do here is just continue to button it out. So keeping them tight. What's missing on the wire here that we had on the top? Armor rod. Armor rod. Yeah. And uh, not everybody in the world armor rods. In the uh, Midwest, you're going to have armor rod on this. But in this case, we don't. So. How long would this last, you suppose, in the vibration that we have in this part of the country? <laughs> so, keeping it tight, just button it out. Now this tie wire was a little bit longer than we needed, so I'm getting a lot of buttons on this. But I'm not going to waste it. Now, in this case, I'm going to bend these tails back on themselves. Uh, at the school here, we're going to continue to untie them and put them back on and then tie them and put them back on and do different jobs. So by bending that tail back, now some places in the world, they'll tie them back just like that too. Uh, it gives you something to hook to if you're going to uh, untie them later. It gives you a place to grab and pull it off or if we're using a hot stick from a distance, it will give you a place to hook it and pull it back. Some places wouldn't like it that way. so. If you go somewhere and they do a little bit different, what do you do? Do it their way. Got it? So this is a two.